हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज हाफ रेंज को सीरीज एंड हाफ रेंज साइंस सीरीज वी विल आल्सो सी एन एग्जांपल ऑन दिस सो स्टे विद मी टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट वी रिकॉल व्हाट इज फोर ईयर सीरीज ऑफ द इवन एंड ऑड फंक्शन इन द इंटरवल माइनस एल कॉमा एल If f of x is an even function in the interval minus l comma l, then its Fourier series expansion is given by f of x is equal to a naught plus summation a n cos n pi x upon l, where n varies from one to infinity. Here b n takes value zero, where a naught and a n's expression are given by a naught is equal to 1 by l integration of f of x dx over the limit zero to l. And a n is equal to 2 by l integration of f of x cos n pi x upon l dx over the limit 0 to l. Similarly, if f of x is an odd function in the interval minus l comma l, then its Fourier series expansion is given by summation b n into sin n pi x upon l, where a naught and a n takes values 0, and b n's expression is given by 2 by l. Integration of f of x sin n pi x upon l dx over the limit zero to l. Now we see what is half range cosine series of the function f of x in the interval zero comma l. Let f of x be any function in the interval zero comma l. No matter what is the nature of f of x, either even or odd. If we take its reflection in the y axis, then it will always be an even function in the interval minus l comma l. So its Fourier series expansion in the interval minus l comma l is given by a naught plus summation a n cos n pi x upon l, where n varies from one to infinity. Here b n takes value zero, as we have seen the Fourier series of f of x in the interval minus l comma l whenever f of x is even function. Here a naught takes expression one by l integration f of x dx over the limit zero to l. And a n's expression is 2 by l integration of f of x cos n pi x upon l dx over the limit 0 to l. Since there is no sign term in this series, this expansion of f of x is called as half range cosine series. On the similar lines, we will see what is half range sine series of f of x in the interval 0 comma l. So let f of x be any function in the interval zero comma l, no matter what is its nature, whether it is even or odd. If we take its reflection in the x-axis, then f of x will always become an odd function in the interval minus l comma l. Then its Fourier series expansion is given by f of x is equal to summation b n sin n pi x upon l, where a naught and a n takes value zero, where b n's expression is given by 2 by l integration of f of x sin n pi x upon l dx over the limit 0 to l. As there is no cosine term in this series, this series is called as half range sine series of f of x in the interval 0 comma l. Now we will see an example on this. Here question is to find half range sine series of x into pi minus x in the interval 0 comma pi so let us assume f of x is equal to summation b n sin n x be the required half range sin series of f of x in the interval 0 comma pi where b n is given by 2 by pi integration of f of x sin n x dx over the limit 0 to pi here f of x is x into pi minus x So this expression becomes 2 by pi integration of x into pi minus x sin n x dx over the limit 0 to pi. Now we apply integration by parts rule to evaluate this integral, considering u as x into pi minus x and v as sin n x. So after evaluating this integral, we get 2 by pi into u as it is integration of v. That is integration of sine n x is minus cos n x upon n minus derivative of v 
that is pi minus 2x into integration of this bracket which is minus sin nx upon n square plus derivative of pi minus 2x which is minus 2 into integration of this bracket which is cos nx upon n cube. Further terms in this evaluation will be 0 because derivative of minus 2 will be 0 completing the bracket with limits 0 to pi. Now we substitute these limits in x. So when we substitute these limits in x we get 2 by pi into pi minus pi is 0, 0 into anything is 0 minus pi minus 2 pi which is minus pi into minus sin n pi, sin n pi is 0, so 0 into anything is 0 again, minus 2 into cos n pi upon n cube, minus substituting the lower limit 0 in x, we get 0 into this, that is 0 again, once again sin 0 is 0, so 0 into this is 0, minus 2, cos 0 is 1 upon n cube. Simplifying this, we get bn is equal to 4 by pi into 1 minus cos n pi upon n cube. Cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n. So, bn becomes 4 by pi n cube into 1 minus minus 1 raised to n. Since n takes values from 1 to infinity, if n is even, then minus 1 raised to n will be 1. So, is 1 minus 1 is 0. So, whenever n is even, we will get bn is equal to 0. And whenever n is odd, this minus 1 raised to n will become minus 1. So, minus into minus will become plus and we will have 2 here. 2 for the 8 upon pi n cube whenever n is odd. So, bn is 8 upon pi n cube whenever n is odd. Now, we substitute value of this bn in the required Fourier series that is this. So, after substituting value of bn in this expression, half range Fourier series of f of x is given by this. I hope you understood what is half range Fourier sine and cosine series is. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.